this is a bit of a cheat for um, recording morning or evening prayer for the LAs. So you need some stuff. You need a lectionary or copies of the readings from within there. And if you don't have them, contact Jo and she'll give them to you. And you need a Bible here, Holy Bible, preferably NRSV version. But And you don't have to use a physical Bible. You can use an electronic one, whatever you would prefer, however you're comfortable, and a prayer book. And we'll go through that stuff in a minute to record a prayer service. I always like to have something to help as a prayer focus. So you can use it for yourself or you can use it on camera. Something to help you with your prayers and your intercessions. There's plenty of printed stuff. You don't have to do it off the cuff. It's easy enough to do. Now when you're marking your prayer books, you need to mark them ahead of time or you need to have it listed somewhere written on a piece of paper in front of you so that it's easy to give page numbers. Uh, morning prayer and evening prayer start on page 383 and finish on page 424. And so you need to pick the day of the week that you're doing, either a morning or an evening prayer. Pick that day. You also need to pick the right collect for the week. So the collects start on page 447. So for argument's sake, this week is between the 5th and the 11th of June. So it sort of says so there. Okay, it's on page 460 on the 5th to 11th of June and is collect number 10. And so it's easy enough to find what you need in the prayer book. You just need to kind of have it set up beforehand so that you don't have to stress about it. And while you're recording, it's already just there. Now, if you use glasses like I do and you need them to read, although you prefer not to be seen with them on camera, you can either take them on and off like I do or if you need them to read, just leave them on. Be aware that they do create a bit of glare, so it's sometimes good to kind of look over the top of them to try and minimise the glare that sort of comes in off of the um, glass lens. The other thing you'll need to do is have your Bibles and your lectionaries available and you'll need to mark the Bible with the readings for whichever morning or evening prayer you're doing. You just find the date in the book, find the date, find the day that you're doing. Um, so this week is June and we're doing just say for argument's sake, we're doing um, the Thursday, the 11th of June. You have a choice. You can have Barnabas, the apostle. You can choose Barnabas if you choose to. The morning prayer are in the middle column, evening prayer in the end column, and the Holy Eucharist are in this column here. And you just choose the readings that you need. So if you're doing morning prayer on Thursday, the 11th, you could either choose this one here for Barnabas or you can choose the ordinary one for the day. So it's completely up to you and I have no problems with whichever one you want to do. You'll need to mark your Bibles as well. So however you want to record it, the most simplest way to record a morning or evening prayer is to just have the camera in front of you like I've got it there. I've got it on a tripod or you can have it leaning against something as long as it's fairly stable and uh, you can get these little the little tripods that I showed you before. Those little um, selfie stick tripods, they are like eight bucks from Kmart. They have a remote control to switch them on and off. They connect to iPhones or Android phones. As long as your phone has videoing sort of capabilities, you can connect them. They're very simple or you can come and use our stuff. So if you are recording a morning or evening prayer service, you can come down to the chapel and uh, use our tripods. And it's all here. You can screw your phone in. It's all different sizes. It doesn't matter what size your phone is, it'll fit. There are microphones to fit into your phone if you don't want to have the echoey sound that comes just from using the phone mic. Um, there's plug-in mics that plug just straight into your headphone jack. Not a problem at all. It's easy enough for you to set up your space. You can sit wherever you like. 
make sure that your background is fairly neutral and you're not um, having ladders in the background, rookie mistake that I made for the wedding that we did via Zoom, and or tripods or cords everywhere. And if you can't help but have something that's in the way or that you don't particularly want in the background but it's the best place for you to be, then cover it, put a cloth over it, um, or, or stage it, put something behind you that you like to see, like a bookcase or a photograph or a picture or a cat. Um, you know, my cat likes to sit behind me for mine. And look, just do it with confidence. Don't worry about the camera. Don't worry about looking straight into the lens or what you're doing. People understand that this is not a medium that you're used to using. Um, it is, it is uh, one of those things where you need to just kind of jump in and do it and not worry too much about it. If you choose to do it more often and you want to get a little bit more fiddly, you can, if you've got an iPhone, use iMovie for some editing. If you've got an Android, there are plenty, plenty of free apps for you to play around with uh, rudimentary editing. And then if you want to get a little bit more clever or more specialised, like we do a bit more specialised for our Sunday service, you can purchase um, an editing platform. You can do it on your computer, on your tablet, on your iPad or iPhone, uh, on your phone, however you want to do it. The only other thing I wanted to talk about was intercessions. So intercessions um, are varied and they are as different as the people who are praying them. You can use the intercession prompters in the prayer book from page 186. You can use one of the litanies that are in the prayer book. Just have a look through and see what you like. You must include the Lord's Prayer in some form or another, either the old form or the more regular new form for Anglican Church. And just remember that you are praying to God. It's got nothing to do with the camera or who's in the room with you or not in the room with you, perceived electronically or otherwise, just remember that whatever you say on however you pray, you're praying to God and then it will just be perfect because your Father in heaven who made you perfect and made you to pray in perfection will be with you when you pray. Just if you remember that you're praying to God and everyone else is just listening, it works. You don't, you don't have to do it extempore. You can read from a book or if you've got another prayer resource that you really like to use um, or you can just hold something in your hand and use it as a focus, if you like, and perhaps look at it and pray through the different colours. Um, you know, at this time in our world at the moment, there's a real dichotomy, there's a real tension between black and white. And this set of praying hands represents that connection that God brings between black and white, just for those simple get together. So that's my little tutorial for, um, for recording your own morning or evening prayer service. And I really, really, really need you guys to step up and be on a roster, not very often, maybe every four or six weeks or so, and offer one of the evening or morning prayers that we're offering at the moment or that we will be offering going into the future. So you can choose from Tuesday or Thursday morning prayer or Monday or Friday evening prayer. Wednesday's sort of already taken care of. But I would love for you to offer, and I'm happy to help you with the first couple of goes that you have a go, but I really need some people to record these services for the week that I'm away, 13th to the 20th of July. So thank you. Ring me, ask me any questions that you need to do and uh, uh, have a go. Just have a go. It's not as scary as you think it is. Look at me, I can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Easy. All right.